where Hu Jin, one of the most well-respected and best coaches in Valorant, has just been exposed for faking his credentials and being boosted to a rank that he used to falsely advertise to over 300,000 people. He lied to you, he lied to others, and he lied to me. However, this isn't going to be a video about bashing him as I'm sure there are a lot of people already doing that and I don't want to put salt onto the wound any more than it has to. But instead, this video will be about why what he did was wrong and to not follow his footsteps. With an influencer like Wahujin, many, and I mean many people look up to him. Hell, even I looked up to him. I've always admired how he was able to build a successful business, a strong community, and also just be able to help people improve in their passions as a full-time job. I aspire to be like him, to help people while also working towards my life's mission to retire my parents and make sure that they are comfortable and that their efforts to make me have the best life they could not be wasted. And it hurt knowing that he took an unnecessary shortcut to achieve them which sucks because it doesn't set the greatest precedent for people like me and you who are not only trying to improve, but also learn from someone who you thought did it the right way. Yes, I can already hear the comments of Wahujin stands coming into my video and saying, but Rooney, he still helps people and at the end of the day, that's all that matters, right? And besides, pro coaches are not radiant too, so it shouldn't matter for him as well. And even though you are correct to a certain degree, that shouldn't discard the fact that he still lied to you and use that as a big part of his business strategy to grow as a content creator and profit from it because people trust others who have achieved heights that they can't even imagine to achieve themselves. I believe you guys know not only hitting Radiant, but also being over 800 RR and placing top 100 in North America is so much more work than a lot of people think it is. And it takes a shit ton of effort, time, and ironically, discipline. This is a big reason why people look up to others who are in insane shape, who have crazy grades in school and hundreds of internships lined up, and who are more successful in their careers at younger ages than you. This is also not just a problem in Valorant and Wahujin is 100% not the only one at fault here. There are thousands and I mean thousands of people who are willingly faking their credentials, faking their achievements, and faking what they know just to take your money from you. I want to emphasize this. On the grand scheme of things, what he did wasn't life altering or life ending. However, what he did was still wrong and hopefully can be used as a lesson to not trust fucking people on the internet so easily. As much as I believe that everyone should be trusted until they break it, as I mature and grow as a person, the more times I see this isn't always the case. Luckily, I am still an optimist and truly believe what you do is what you will get back in life. But again, I hope this will help at least one person out before making a reckless decision. This does not just affect the people watching him and the people that pay for his subs to get coached by him. You may not know this, but having a person like Wahujin be the fourth front of the coaching scene who has faked what they knew and faked what they have achieved ruins the chances of deserving players and creators who are 100% more worth it if you have the desire to improve. Players like Twyfo who retired as a pro Valorant player but who has years and years of experience under his belt playing with all-star teams like T1, Xset, 100 Thieves, and NRG, and who has been under veteran coaches and staff that helped him improve in his craft every single day of his career. Also a fellow creator like Dopai, who has 10 times less subs than Wahujin because he was focusing on being rank 1 multiple times, putting his life on the line to become a pro Valorant player, and spending less of his time trying to optimize the YouTube algorithm and actually just wanting to help people with the experience he has accumulated over the years putting his all into his craft. These are players who are truly qualified and who I have been looking up to since I started Valorant. And again, it sucks seeing people like this who are real and raw with their content to be left in the dust because they choose not to throw a cute VTuber emoticon as a coach. As much as I would like to believe that Wuhujin's actions doesn't affect anybody else, it does. Now it removes the trust that you can get from a coach, from a creator, and from an actual pro player because now we have to ask questions. Do they really know what they're talking about or are they just lying to you to get a quick buck? I know it's super tempting to look at Wuhujin's success and to just copy what he did. I mean, at the end of the day, 
he is still super successful and he makes a ton and i mean a ton of money from coaching people again this isn't bashing his ability to teach others as i still believe that he is definitely a great coach and can help tons of players with his videos due to the fact that he was able to gain a lot of experience teaching so why should you not do what he did why shouldn't we just lie and build our career from there it's because you will also be actively lying to the people that look up to you and trust you. This isn't a matter of if someone is qualified or not of what they do. The problem is, is if they're lying to you about the things they have done in the past to get to where they are and open up your trust as a viewer. As I build my channel more and more, I'm not gonna lie, it becomes tougher and tougher to not just take the fucking bag. When I watch other YouTubers who are much bigger than me promote absolutely crazy things to their obviously younger audience, it's something that just rubs me off the wrong way, even though I do respect the hustle and that they are probably making a lot of money off them. This is because I believe that it is always right to try your hardest in the best way you can to do the right thing and just be an overall better person than yesterday. I can't lie, I will continue to do things that I will regret in the future. And I'm not a saint, I'm not perfect, and I am a human being who makes mistakes and values his goals over anything else, and that will sometimes lead me to doing something that I probably shouldn't have. However, I still believe that you should try to build yourself to become a person that you can look up to. Is this person in the future really faking his achievements to win trust over his audience? Is that person being lazy and sitting on the couch beating off when he told himself that they would start that YouTube channel or begin their dream of being a streamer? And is that person skipping the gym again just because he's tired when he specifically told himself to set a goal to lose 20 pounds? I won't lie. I have had thoughts of stretching the truth a bit, taking on projects that I didn't believe in and doing something that I knew was not the most ideal decision. And of course, like I say in all my videos, making mistakes is how we learn and grow. But if you take anything away from this video, please, and I mean, just please try your best to improve yourself at least 1% every single day because in a couple of years from now you'll be thanking your past self for making that one singular decision that changes your life please do not send hate over to Wuhujin. At the end of the day, he isn't killing someone and there are no laws put into place to prevent something like this from happening. All we can really do is hope he apologizes and takes this as a lesson to also grow just like me and you who also make mistakes. Yes, I do agree. What he did absolutely sucks and I don't know about you, but this definitely broke some respect that I had for him. But like I just said, the world doesn't get better from us arguing and sending threats over to someone who made a mistake. Like I said, what he did was wrong, but it's up to him to make it okay. And I just truly hope that this video will reach others and prevent this type of thing from not only happening in Valorant, but in other areas of life. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Bye-bye.